Jesus Christ, Amen. So, today we will be talking about the theme of the day is decoding Gen Z. And it was a struggle coming to this theme among the many themes that we had. And you can imagine the themes that ambassadors can come up with. They were very, they were very interesting. And I might get in trouble. I might get in trouble for this, but one of them was like, that was a very strong content that we think they do. But we decided we voted. We voted for decoding Gen Z. And I don't know that piqued everyone's interest because Gen Z is something that we are not all familiar with and yet we are bombarded with it every day. So it's about time that actually take a seat and actually listen and take it in. So to start off our program, this is our Talai in praise before our speaker can take to the floor. Jesus, my Savior, is my name.
very fast. <laughs> this group, I think I will have an issue with them, but they're also close to my heart because some of them I was teaching the ambassadors. So Ndingani Tolela Sivu because I was once their teacher. Um, before we get started, I, it's just a disclaimer. I'm not a long preacher. I'm not a long speaker. I get to the point and I sit down. If you were looking for a one hour, two hours afternoon, you can try Mshambi's new speaker because you will not get that from me. Abongilo, we are because ambassadors is a group that I really like. And when there's bony adventurers, there's bony pathfinders, but my heart is with ad ambassadors. I do not know why. Or maybe it's because we are decoding Generation Z or unlocking that. Maybe it's because we need speakers like me to unlock the Generation Z. Because sometimes Zabanda Badala Asba Ababa understand. Zabanda Badala Bati. So today, as much as I'm preaching to Generation Z, I'm also preaching to the old people so they can understand. Abantuan. Klamsinga submarina. Klamsinga kohoan amtanche. But I hope you do get the message. I am just a nobody trying to tell everybody about somebody who can heal everybody. Usually this song is an R&B song but today I bring it closer to the church. Listen very carefully ambassadors. It was an R&B song but now I'm bringing it closer to Christ. So when I stand here in front of people, so as an ambassador, when you stand in front of people, you must just know I am just a nobody trying to tell everybody about somebody who can heal everybody, which is Christ. So God is good. And all the time, usually I say to people, when I say God is good, I want you to say great. So when I say God is good, when I need to greet, City greet, God is good because all the time. So God is good. Greet. I'm trying to put it all. I'm taking now about is that God is good. Greet. For the purpose for those people who do not know me. My name is Mrs. T. Undombi, but Ndibonile or Redu Kon Undombi Gweli Bans Umamunjov. But I didn't know today I had another title. As I was in the class with the Pathfinders, Bati, Dipetunda Nam Batiba. Oh, we didn't know that your job was to be a babysitter. We see you here every Sabbath with this child, and you're a babysitter. Did you all? Okay, I understand. It's fine. How old do you think I am? And then they tell me, and they've gone, okay, it's fine. But did you love putting Kaluamba Nanga Sabad Nikangban? Oh, that's your brother. So, so from today, I'm so good, Mrs. T. Betunane, Ningan Biz and Dombi. But for the purpose, for those who don't know me, people call me Mrs. Broken Crimes because I do believe that broken people can still color in the house of the Lord. So, Generation Z is a pagunkenguk. So, when you stand in front of people, you could be at school, at university, or wherever it may be, just know that you are a broken vessel. I can be youth. Because sometimes I tend to think in two papers, the Patabon about, sit the Mabaya Sap Marina Bot, sit the Mabaya Goa Bot, but not to see a go. So when you see me, just know that I am a broken vessel. When you see me, just know I'm Mrs. Broken Crimes because I do believe that broken crimes can still color. When you take two papers, just two papers, Utate, Cryonio Pukile, and a full one, 
The first paper, you color it, leo kukileyo, and color anything. And the second one with the full paper, you color anything. But then you know, zbeka apa abongi ndukuzeba, which paper be kainisho nga leo kukileyo, you will not be able to tell me. Hence, I say today, broken clients can still color. You can still stand in front of people and still be able to play saban bakangkulunkulu because the beauty about broken clients, today you can be a broken yellow, today, you, tomorrow you can be a a broken blue, but those dibanis, it's a very unique color. Yes, bonus mics. She says I'll unlock her either way. So it, it, it makes a unique color when you are broken. So sometimes I was asking my husband, Diti, where does where do ambassadors fit in? Because we do cater for pathfinders. We do cater for adventurers. But, like, like we don't know where you guys fit in, actually. Like, in Ati, it's like just we string them along sometimes because sometimes we don't know about where they fit in. Today, I'm going to tell you where you fit in. They tanda, they got Actually, my tete in a western suburbs. Asizoba pachans get in upper western suburbs. They turned a bang attend. So basically, as I said from the last time I was preaching, I'm I'm a person who sees um a God through ornaments or manditi trees. Yeah, bonin doesn't chal. Jalon jalo. I see I get a sermon out of Dinga Fumani sermon at Le Mike, Slambi Kalwenjani, Okany Le PC system. Yeah, but that's how God works with me. So today. Last time we were speaking about the palm tree, today we're speaking about a pencil. I'm trying to unlock this generation, Zina. We're speaking about a pencil. Please listen very carefully because I'm going to be very short. And then I'm pin and in pin and in So, <laughs> the pencil parable. So, it says, in the beginning, the pencil maker spoke to the pencil saying, there are five things you need to know before I send you out in the world. Always remember them and you will become the best pencil you can be. Number one, you will be able to do many great things, but only if you allow yourself to be held in someone's hand. Number two, you will experience a painful sharpening from time to time, but this is required for you to become a better pencil. Number three, you have the ability to correct any mistake you might make. Number four, the most important part of you, you will always be what's inside. Number five, no matter the condition, you must continue to write. You must always leave a clear, legible mark, no matter how difficult the situation. I will read it one more time. No matter what the condition, ambassadors, you must continue to write. You must always leave a clear, legible mark wherever you at, ambassadors. No matter how difficult the situation. So in Jumayel Oyam is what, what type of pencil are you? So the pencil understood this, promising to remember and went into the box fully understanding the maker. Now, replacing the place of the pencil with you, ambassadors. Always remember them and never forget them. And you will become the best person, the best ambassador you can ever be. Let's go back to number one, ambassadors. So, and it is the replacement on the pencil, to you. Replacing the pencil to you. So the maker is saying to the generation Z, which is uh, e ambassadors, number one, when I send you out in the world, you will be able to do many great things, but only if you allow yourself to be held in God's hands. So that is the first point that I want you to learn, ambassadors. If you allow yourself to be held in God's hands, you'll be the best version of yourself. That is number one. So when you read the book of Jeremiah 33 verse 3, it says, call to me and I will answer you. And I'll tell you great and mighty things you do not know. So when you call to him, 
I, it won't even feel like umtanda zowaku pela perufin because he's there to listen. Even in the book of Revelation, he says that uzisula zonki nyembes. It it doesn't wipe one tear. It zonke. So ambassador, oh, you do not know what type of person you need to be, or you do not know what type of a pencil you need to be, call unto him so that you can be able to be the best version of yourself. And when I speak about this, you need to be able to strive for excellence wherever you're at. It could be at school, it could be at church. Actually, I even love it to the world. You can be the best version of yourself. And most and it's like social media, you know, go TikTok, you go YouTube, you go podcast. Yeah, man, I'm going to land. But the thing is, how do you, how do we maneuver through such spaces so we can be able to strive for excellence? I'm an Adventist, and I just strive for excellence. Number two. You will experience a painful sharpening from time to time by going through various problems, but you need to, you need it to become a stronger person. So sometimes a time to go to in chung, pek, I find a But no. Sometimes you need that sharpening just like the pencil so you can become a better version of yourself so that you can become a better person for yourself so that even if you stand in front of people, you can be able to say God is good. Great. And I love the lady earlier on, a sense of divine, but you, you shake it off. So we just shake it off. Because we need the sharpening so that we can become a stronger person. But you need it because so that you can become a responsible person. You can become a better person. Yes, sometimes I used to say to my mama, I was like, she was, she was such a hardcore person on me. But now I understand when I'm married that, oh, now I understand. So I needed that sharpening so that I can become a better person. So it, 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 10, that is why for Christ's sake I delight in weaknesses, in insult, in hardships, in hardships as well. So we delight in them, even those, but we, we soldier on. Number three, you will be able to correct mistakes you might make or grow through them. I know that sometimes we are very hardcore to ourselves and we feel like when we make mistakes, in Ati there is no tomorrow. But I'm here to say, ambassadors, it's okay to make mistakes. But the only thing I'm going to say to you, repent after that. So Acts chapter 3 verse 19 says, repent therefore and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out that that times of refreshing may come from the Lord. So it's okay to make mistakes, but repent don't repent to other things. Repent to the Lord. Because that's when they can be wiped out. So if you make a mistake and you feel like, I'm not good enough. You actually are good enough because God likes unperfect people. He wants you to come as you are. ambassador When I'm able to do everything right, and then I'll come. Uh-uh. Come as you are. If Bona Bati Asia Chikisa Clam Yango, Zuweta M Nastando Sam Diti Ah ah Agwens Wanjalo, come as you are, repent and we go back to the Lord. Number four. It says of Shalapant, the most important part of you will always be what's in the inside. The Lord does not look at the outer appearance, he looks at the heart. In the book of Samuel, it says he doesn't look at the outer appearance, he looks at the heart. So, no, but you're not, you're not pretty enough. You're not, oh, not figure, you suppose you're not, oh, milango, you suppose you're milango, oh, you're yellow bone enough, oh, can you eat dark dindi? The Lord does not look at the outer appearance, he looks at the heart. I know, amanya bantu. They like to even say, but oh, it's okay. The Lord doesn't look at the outer appearance, it looks at the heart. Guys, fix your heart to Christ. Ambassadors, fix your heart to Christ. Beauty fades away. Beauty fades away. And sometimes when I say beauty fades away, I'm not saying because you get older and it fades away because you do get older. Sometimes you can get an accident the next day and then, okay, we'll change. Then what? 
So fix your heart to Christ. So like there's something about her heart. If you know that you are an ambassador and your heart is not fixed at the right place and your heart is not here at this moment and God sees the up and cons when your heart was not here, you need to be here. Fix your heart. Even, and I, 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 I like to fundi si, we baptiza, we siti ba, as much as yonke lendo si teta apa before baptizo, but the real test is when you leave that's when the real test. Yes, here we can cover ourselves. Since the ending at single holy, holy. But I only test is on Sunday when you meet the world. You need to be able to stand in front of people and a bank like one uamba luaco, no teta guaco, no guenza guaco needs to show that uamba no go no go. As young as you are, I not age. It has no age. And the last one says. On every surface you walk, Ambassador, Generation Z. Every. Aiti, when you go to church. Every surface you walk, it could be a boom nandini, it could be you be eating out, clone down, meeting with other people. And it's most when we, we do have friends who are non Adventist. So every. I'm going to be realistic, I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. Because now, when I was teaching ambassadors, I do not sugarcoat anything. I'm going to be straight. Because even the Bible, in jail, I eat it maybe, or, you know, you know, or can you get submarine this time, or ungagoa this time, uh-uh, in jail. So every surface which we're trying to unlock Generation Z, every surface you walk, you must leave your mark. I'm that type of person, when I enter rooms, they must know that I have entered. And when I leave those rooms, they must know. Oh, I saw you last time at the entrepreneur thinking, what is your name? Because I know that every place that I enter, I walk, I need to leave my mark. Because the beauty about this, no, have you heard about my God? Sometimes you don't even need to speak about your God, but because the way you do things, the way you carry yourself shows that long to there's something about them. So you need to leave your mark. If you do not know how to leave your mark, today when you go home, show me how to leave my mark at school or wherever I am or with my friends. I need to know how do I leave my mark. So when you enter those rooms, they must know. That you're not walking alone. And the thing is, when you know, Auti Gundombi, Ozungombi is full. If I'm an endoban, Dime Apane, Oglalo, Oglalwap, Oglalo, Yavana Yonkeland, Undombi, Umna would never do it. But because whenever I come here and did Lord, may there be none of me and all of you. So even when you in those rooms, you need to stand, but knowing that it is not your power. It is Christ. The person who opened those doors is God. So walk tall because So no matter what the situation, ambassador, even if they say you're not good enough, you stand tall. Even if they say, but I'll qualify him, does it? God has called the unqualified. Because you're here to leave your mark. You're here to show them back. No matter what the situation, I am here to stand for God. It, you must continue to serve God in everything. In, when I say everything, I say in your talents, you need to serve God. I'm a sport fanatic. I'm sure most of you guys, at Victoria Park High School, I'm a sport fanatic. I had colors in swimming, tennis, netball. And I also played cricket, soccer, wherever you put me, design Because I do believe I'm here to serve in everything. If I don't know it, can and then I'll master it. That's where Bazali, they don't know that the generation Z, that's where we fit in. Teach us and we will master it. That's where they need to fit in the church. Teach them, make space for ambassadors because they have this 
There's something about ambassadors and no one is seeing it. But if you teach them, if you equip them, ambassadors. That's how good they are. Serve God in your talents, ambassadors, in your creativity, in sport, like in everything. I remember I used to have an issue at NMMU, but you know, you need to come and play in Dungu Center, Kemdas, Bandinit, Dungu Captain Diti, Sabbath. But you know, just one Sabbath, NMMU must change the timetable so that I can come. They would make sure that our games are played after Sabbath so they can accommodate me. So you need to be able to stand so that you can be able to serve your purpose. Well, Charlene didn't even know anything about Sabbath keeper Adventism, but because of me, she managed to know that. So wherever you are, it doesn't have to be at church. It could be at the sport fields. It could be at choir. It could be at a school. And when you're playing music, they must know you need to serve God in everything that you do. And don't take it for granted. And I know, they don't understand Generation Z. See, see, with social media, man. But we in social media, but I'm here to give you a trick today that use your social media to serve God. For on Nom Tabandazi, I use my social media to what? To serve God. I to look like the Bubu Kela love you to Atiba. God is still good. So these five things, all I want you to learn is that that you need to, it's what's important, it's what's inside. But number five, before I sit down, on every surface you walk, you must leave your mark. No matter what the situation, you must continue to serve God in everything. So everyone is like a pencil created by the maker for a unique and special purpose. We are not created to be copy and paste. I sing or copy and paste. And this is why I was in Abongile because I am not an Abongile. We are all created for a special purpose. Like, for example, there's as and was Tula. So, I need on Bonab and the Pambil and the Tuli. Ah, ah. I know where I stand. I know where I need to serve God. Know what type of pencil you are, ambassadors. And as parents, please also be patient with ambassadors. Be patient with them as we're trying to unlock Lendo If they come with ideas, for example, then Situku Abongin, did our man is the ambassadors do a nice video? And there was a beautiful video inviting kids. And that's what ambassadors are supposed to be doing. We do not do things like Aman Bakdala Sambo door to door, but Tina, we do things differently. So today, please, when you go home or when you sit here, remember the question that I do want to have. It's unfortunately we don't have time, but I was going to ask you, what type of pencil are you? You need to be able to tell us what type of pencil are you. You don't need to think to know that you, what type of pencil are you. So I'm giving you homework, ambassadors. Hopefully, I'm going to be here next week. If I'm decon, I think it's a basset laws. But the homework is that I want you to tell me what type of pencil are you. And the type of pencil you are as well. How can I fit into the church with that type of pencil? And with that being said, I promise you they will make room for you. If they do not make room for you, I'm going to be they need to make room for us. So, ambassadors, I hope today that we have unlocked Generation Z. I hope today you'll be able, actually, even most of you, I didn't even know your ambassadors, like to show that, but you need to be informed, yes, but oh, she's actually an ambassador. But today I know, and I want you to stand tall wherever you are. I want you to serve God wherever you are. I want you to become a broken cryon, and wherever you are, know that broken people can still color in the house of the Lord. May God bless you. I said that I'm not a long preacher. I hope you got the gist what I was trying to say. But God is good. Great. Amen. Thank you so much for everything. Um, so, 
to close this uh, part of the program here too, we can have mercy come. Then while mercy is gonna be singing, Only take one, only one, only one more. Eh, I'm going to sing like a good generation SC, and I want to take up. I want to take up La Point EBC. It's okay to make mistakes, but repent. Ndifuna ukui ukui tinka nen ukui yenza nde golshop amanda na baba sabata they make a mistake and then we say it's a mistake but when the same mistake is repeated then it is no longer a mistake I kuwe soge start I say your mistake I say your dadoni na. I want to be specific and specifically to the children of my church. See, I meet at first time and then we all say, oh, it was a mistake. And we all understand. Beautiful. And then the United Nations. Then it's not a mistake anymore. So repenting doesn't help. This is my this is my comment from Generation SC. If you make it's okay to make mistakes, but it's not okay to make the same mistake twice. It's okay not to do your homework and re, and, and 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 submit it on time, but it's no longer a mistake if it is your habit. And in the wazwanga your app, kukuba wena you will never submit your work on time. And therefore, Kausen Zalondo, you are not um wazwanga Lord. Sikwazingalando i negative. So, in my comment, no ambassador, no youth, no whoever, dokasi, stuff like that. The funa uguti, a mistake is supposed to be the first step in a learning curve. And then we don't make the same mistake again. Because sometimes, Uh, we're going to ask Mercy to give us an item, then see Valongom Tandas or play session. Ma 
Um, let's bow our heads. Father, we thank you um, for this afternoon's lesson. The five lessons that the pencil maker gave to the pencil. We want to ask that, Lord, you may help us that we practicalize them in our lives. Um, some of us, it might be a matter of mistakes discovering our purpose. We pray, dear God, that may your spirit dwell within us as ambassadors and help us that one day we will find our God-driven purpose and be able to live up to it. Forgive us where we have sinned against you and give us the strength that, Lord, like David, we will not repeat the same mistakes again. Help us that we will rise in new strength and continue in go, uh, growing in glory until you come again. I pray in your name. Amen. Amen. So at this point in time, we will be blessed by in praise. Uh, they'll be giving us some items. During that time, they'll be speaking about something very important and dear to their hearts. So we would like everyone to pay extra, extra, extra attention to them. Uh, while Begula, our ambassadors will be getting ready for the next session that we're going to get into. So, Ninga Smai Amen. <laughs> 